Hello, welcome back. It's June here. Um, today's cards are using a technique with alcohol inks and um, archival ink pads. Tim Holtz um, is the creator of um, this particular technique. I ha yeah, you really should use an archival ink pad, preferably in black or grey. The nearest I have is coffee, which I've used on these cards. Um, other ink pads, I've tried a few um, and it just doesn't work, but it definitely does with the archival ink pad. And would you believe that if you do use um, a black, you do get a, a more crisper look once you've um, rubbed the um, ink off your piece of card. So with these cards, um, you need to use a non-porous uh, material, such as the Yupo pad, ideal with alcohol inks, or acetate, glass, anything like that, as long as it's non-porous. Personally, I found that using the acetate, I like that effect better than on the Yupo. But when I do get an archival ink pad in either black or grey, I'm going to try this again just to see what um, the effect I do get. These two have been used, have been made using the Yupo ink, um, sorry, the Yupo paper. And it's like a, a ghosting effect that you get once you've um, rubbed the ink off the surface. The sentiments um, that I've used are from Alton U and it's Crafty Friends and I think ideal, you know, if you're sending a little card to a friend who is crafty, not necessarily making cards, could be sewing, knitting, anything like that. Uh, these sentiments are just fantastic for that um, particular messy effect we're doing. And I'm really not a messy crafter, so this, um, this is uh, a little bit difficult for me to get inked and what have you. But never mind, we'll crack on. Those two are the, like I say, are the Yupo um, cardstock I've used. And this one is on acetate. And um, I do prefer this to the other two. But that's my choice. So what you need, I'll just remove this. And bring this one in. I'm using a full sheet of acetate. Um, because I can use little bits later or if you don't like how it's going you could always um, die cut some flourishes or flowers you know don't throw it out is what I'm saying on the acetate and you can't really tell the effect on there you need to put it behind some white card and I just, I really love uh, the effect that it gives you. And this comes a lot clearer uh, than the cards that I showed you previously. So what you need to do is choose your alcohol inks. Now I'm going to start with raspberry. And you can just dot it wherever and blend it and I've got the pad on the blending tool here and then come in with sailboat blue Oh, 
keeping a space clear, or I'm trying to, so I can uh, anchor this. And I found that you do need to leave these overnight to dry completely. Of course, you can use your heat tool if you can't wait and you want to get on with it. I just left mine overnight. And then I'm using lemonade. You don't have to use the three colours either. You can use more, two colours. And then, if you, there, you see, it's moved. So, if you blend it like this, it's a totally different look. And I'll just get some white card and show you what that's like. I think that looks lovely and I'm not going to do anything else with it other than put it to one side to dry um, overnight and that will be used again. So put that there, remove this and I'm just going to show you the effect once it's dried on the acetate those to one side. You could add um, the blending to a uh, me blending solution to um, the acetate and the Yupo paper, and it'll spread even further. But I liked how that one um, looks, so I'm just going to leave that. And try to use um, some stamps that have a. A good outline. This is um, a leaf and I don't know from which set um, I got this from but we'll um, just let you see the effect. So this is acetate that um, I used yesterday and let it dry. And that has a marble, like a marble effect on there. So we put this back in. So my archival ink is in coffee. Ink your stamp. And then onto your acetate, lift it, and then with a dry cloth, give it a dab, and then rub. And you see how that lifts the color. So if I put that like that, re-ink the stump, And then rub. Obviously different stamps you use um, will give you a different look totally. But if you're wanting to spend a day or so being very creative and possibly messy, do give this a try. Dab and rub. So you can see, I hope, 
um, how that looks so bright actually compared to the ones that I made uh, earlier and the difference obviously the colors on the background are different but that is coming up um, a lot brighter than those I think that's more of a, a ghost effect than that one but I do like that very much so just to recap you need an archival ink pad do try uh, this technique with um, a grey or a black but then use whatever colour you have and just see what effect that you do get Try it as well on, um, it has to be an unporous material, like I say, acetate or the Yupo cardstock or glass. And then have fun creating your ghost effect backgrounds. Thank you for watching and spending some time with me. And until the next video, bye-bye.